All right, wait, I'm your bodyguard. No way. Thank you. Thank you. All right, this guy's literally fighting so hard to keep that guy off. He actually killed him. No way. No. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be talking about five YouTubers who love magic. If you guys enjoy Roblox or if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, remember to like, subscribe, and join the notification squad by hitting the bell. I've got a lot more content coming out soon, so stay tuned for greatness. At number 5, we've got Infernasu. Infernasu is a growing YouTuber with over 85,000 subscribers, and if you've ever watched his vids, you'll be able to tell that he pretty much loves animes as well as Roblox, since all his videos involve something to do with Naruto or Dragon Ball Z. However, a few months back, Infernasu had released a video to do with the world of magic, and had mentioned how much he likes magic not only in the game, but also real life, and it's just a weird thing to point out in a video to do with Roblox. He also explores different abilities in the game and expresses just how much he likes the different powers and abilities. A bit suspect in my opinion for a guy who only enjoys anime and Roblox. Alright, the game is finally out guys, well for open testing. World of Magic is finally here for open testing, but before we play the game, there is something I need to talk to you guys. Number 4 spot, we have It's Funny. With over 5 million subscribers, you'd be crazy to not have heard of her. It's Funny's whole YouTube career has evolved around games, in particular though, Roblox. A few weeks back, It's Funny had released a video regarding magic spells. Not only this, but throughout the video, she also talked about how much she loves Harry Potter. The whole concept of magic isn't seen as a good thing, and even though she's widely known as a gaming YouTuber, we have reason to believe otherwise. Her and her friends also weren't surprised at all with the small details in the game, like the summoning of a character. Maybe she's just used to summoning objects and people, so it comes to no surprise when they even giggle about it. She even used magic spells as a reason to like the video. She's definitely suspect. Time for our top 3, and third place is taken by Poke. Poke is a YouTuber with over 4 million subscribers, quite a crowd he's gathered over the years. A few years ago, he had made a video about the Roblox Wizard Life game mode, a game mode which, even at the time, wasn't so popular, and makes you question why out of all games he chose to play this. He goes on to enjoy the game and the smaller things about the game. At one point in the video, he started to even say random words when trying to cast a spell in game. Whether it had meaning or not, it was surprising to hear random words as such, even in the order he said it. Not only this, but the fact that he even says how much he loves magic and has an urge to try it, which comes off a bit awkwardly for a family from the YouTuber, and it isn't so surprising that the video hasn't amassed a lot of views, or else his fan base would know his true colors. Second place is taken by Tofu. Tofu is a YouTuber with over 3.5 million subscribers, who gathered his fan base through Roblox. The video not only has to do with the magic Roblox game mode, but quite clearly shows his love for magic. During the video, he spends Robux to experience the most powerful spell in the game. But as we all know, Robux are very overpriced. I may have a video set to release soon regarding how to earn free Robux, so hit the notification bell. And just this itself hints at his passion for not only Roblox, but also magic, as he goes on to say how he'd love to try magic in real life. He may have his audience fooled, but he ain't fooling us. The video was posted a year ago, and he has went on to post several more videos regarding this game in particular. Nothing for no one for nothing. Let's go to Bronze City real quick, all right? Because there is a mine pretty close by, and as long as I don't get murdered in the city, I think I should be all right. To top off the list, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, we've got the GOAT, Dan TDM. Now with Dan TDM, however, he's not only expressed how much he likes magic and Roblox, but also Minecraft. Wow, Dan, you thought you fooled me. Never. Dan TDM had played a very popular game called Arcane Adventures, which has been played by a huge amount of players for a game within the Roblox community. The video could not be so obvious. The title says, trying to be a wizard, and that alone is in regards to Roblox. But Dan said a joke within the video, talking about how he'd love to be top magic in real life. Dan is hugely recognized due to Roblox, however, even in Minecraft he's played several magic games. He even dyed his hair recently to the shade of blue associated to dark magic. In the Minecraft episodes, he spoke about how he tried magic as a kid, and has been passionate about it from there on. Contradicting your point to keep your disguise. Well, that's it for today. I've got a few bangers on the way, so make sure you guys turn on notifications, because trust me, I've got you a lot covered. Hope you guys stay safe and leave a like for 100 years of good luck. Peace.